have you have about more than 1,000 students at home, which are willing to go to school. So there's not enough space. As you can see, we didn't have more class in the school. Maybe the children pass it to more seats, can move them from there to the new school for the process. Also, maybe the other cars can we can collect more children into the schools because education is the best thing in life. Like most people in Lagos have been seeing Makoko, you know, passing over Third Mainland Bridge. And uh, I guess I was curious and interested in knowing how, you know, what was going on in there. So I visited Makoko and was uh, very inspired by the environment and particularly how they've managed to create a lot of, almost out of nothing. So um, I decided to uh, learn from the environment and uh, also help improve the environment. And one of the first uh, needs that the community expressed to me was uh, school and I volunteered to help uh, design and build one. Makoko Floating School is a building prototype for urbanization, housing shortage, and addressing the impact of climate change. So it's actually uh, more a building prototype or a type of new architecture and urbanism on the water. We started by working with the community, learning from the, the, the carpenters and local builders that had done uh, most of the uh, construction there and we found out what their challenges that they face. So to try to build a structure that is large enough for a school on water requires a lot of thinking to be sure that you are creating something that would last. There's one existing school which had attempted to build on water and you, you see some structural failures in it and the school gets flooded when it rains. So what makes ours different is that we are addressing these problems and it's a solution that um, enables the, the kids to occupy uh, and be in the school almost throughout the year. In Makoko, people need a place of conversion and uh, the platform and the way we have designed the school now uh, enables that to happen. So you find the ground level which is open to the public and it's already been used almost as a market space, as a communal space, as a game area, as a workshop. We started it out as a uh, almost a personal or corporate social responsibility project which I just took interest in um, and uh, at some point we realized that this was not just about building a school, it was really about addressing a significant issue that we're beginning to see in coastal African cities. I also appreciate Mr. Kule for building a school for us. I feel happy. I like the floating on water. Children will go and learn from it. 